Hello viewer, I'm your lecturer John Cabucho. I'm taking you auditing and assurance. We are in the topic inventory audit or inventory evaluation. We are looking on how you can audit those items called stock and work in progress. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the procedures on auditing general or procedures of auditing stock. We are also going to be auditing work in progress. So here I have uh, stock. I know most of you, you have been seeing this word in most of the financial statement reading inventory. So I'm going to replace also with inventory. And because inventory cannot be made without, first of all, manufacturing and then having work in progress and finished goods, then we can also introduce and work in, work in progress. If you have forgotten, this one is just a continuation. Remember we did what? The fixed assets. Then we did what? The current assets. In the current assets, we did debtors. So those procedures that we're using for debtors, we are going to introduce them in what? In the inventory. From the inventory, we'll be looking on the banks, amount held in the bank, and later on, we are going to be looking on liabilities, general procedures of auditing liabilities. That will be almost completing the practical audit when you go to the field and you want to audit an item like stock. So I want to audit stock in a company. And I don't know the procedure, so I'm going to introduce those procedures for you in a systematic manner or in a systematic mode, whether you are going to follow each and every particular procedure the way it is. Inventory, one thing that we need to know about inventory and which is most uh, examinable is the risk associated, associated with auditing of inventory, when you're auditing inventory, the problems that you will be experiencing. So risk associated with inventory audit, I'm going to mention a number, and then I'm also going to introduce general audit procedure, general audit procedure. There is also one very common question, and perhaps you may have gone through it, and that is referred to as uh, the stock taking activities. When you're conducting stock take, the auditor is supposed to attend, and that is referred to as stock taking. In the stock take or stake stock count, we are going to be looking on three main areas. The auditor's procedures during stock take, the audit procedures after stock take, and the audit procedures before stock take. So this one is called before stock take or stock count, during stock count, stock count or take, and lastly, after stock count. So this is my main area. This is what we are covering here, but the most important part I want you to get is this and this. It doesn't mean that this one is not important. It's also very, very important, and you can find it in an exam question. So I'm introducing the whole now thing in this particular part, we are covering three areas. The most difficult part, especially for most of the students in this particular part of maybe auditing of inventory when we are doing the stock tick. Let me first of all give you the risks. The risk is like the challenges. The challenges we get whenever we are auditing what? Stock. Remember, if you go to major companies, like in East Africa we have Nakumat, and we have big supermarkets like Tuskies. Those big supermarkets, they also have to conduct stock take. We have companies like East African Potter and Cement. We have companies like Safaricom. We have companies like East African Breweries. They have a large amount of stock. And that's the problem. The problem is what? Number one, stock is the largest item in the balance sheet. Item in the balance sheet balance sheet. And therefore, if it is one of the largest items in the balance sheet, what does that now mean? It means it is material. And it also means items that are material must be audited. It must be audited whether you like it or not, stock must be audited. That's one of the challenges, that you must audit it whether you like it or not. Number two, if you go to those companies like East African Port Transformers, East African Cables, you realize that they have a number of activities. They have what we call 
uh, raw materials, they have work in progress, and then they have manufacturing. And in most cases, whenever we have finished goods, you realize that the stock is going to be in different shapes and different maybe positions. So you go to companies like Cables, Cables Company, you find Cables. You go to companies like Breweries, you find maybe uh, those particular alcoholic drinks. You go to companies like uh, Paint Companies and you find Paint. And therefore you find that whenever you're auditing items of stock, you're going to be encountering a large various maybe varieties of that particular stock which is going to be challenging to you unless you engage an expert it is going to present major problems so you say it may exist in complex form complex form that may require may require an expert may require an expert. I don't know how you can value the alcohol content within a bottle of alcohol, or maybe within a, doc a bottle of beverage, or maybe when you're looking on uh, some chemicals in a particular maybe a, a maybe product, what can you use? You can only use an expert, and that's, that's why it becomes very difficult when you're auditing stock. The other problem associated with stock is when we are doing counting, because unless you do counting of stock, you can never derive the value of stock by doing double entry. Stock does not follow double entry. And therefore, we bring point number three here. We say stock, stock does not, or uh, maybe we can use the point of does not follow the ordinary procedure of double entry. Does not follow ordinary, ordinary procedure, procedure of double entry. So you cannot derive the value through checking the double entry. No, you have to go to the company itself and do what we refer to as counting of stock. If you know about the sugar companies, you can imagine. A sugar company is like one in Kenya, which we call Mumia Sugar Company, will tell you that the sugar that they have made is in different distribution centers. One will be in Mombasa, the other one will be in Wajia, the other one will be in Nairobi, the other one will be perhaps in Kisumu, the other one will be in Akuru, Central. Maybe those are the areas they have. So it is up to you, the auditor, to go looking for that particular product and doing the counting of that stock so that you can get the value of the stock in that company. And that is another major problem. The problem here is portability. Stock exists in portable form. Portable form and Therefore, may be easily, therefore, may be easily misstated. May be easily misstated. This is not the only problem with SOC. We can also add another problem. Remember, if you have studied the income statement properly, you ought to know that the income statement has the trading part which contains the sales, contains opening stock, contains purchases, contains closing stock. And I can, I can, I can illustrate that particular item here. Let's illustrate it. In an income statement, item number one is what? Sales. Item number two is what? Is opening stock. Opening stock. And I'm going to put this one in bold so that you can get it. Item number three is what? Is purchases. What are purchases? Purchases are still part of what? stock item number four is what is closing closing stock so generally the trading has how many items that are of stock nature three items so it means this is the main factor in determining the profits of the company and i'm going to put that point here as a problem because we're discussing the risks associated with the stock so that was point number four I'll bring my point number five here, and we'll go and say, stock has one on one effect on profit. One on one effect on profits. What do we mean by this statement? It means if stock is overstated by one US dollar or one shilling, then it will overstate the profit to the same, same amount. It is the only item that has a direct relationship with what we refer to as what? towards profit before tax. Number six, we say that stock, when it, it appears in form of work in progress, it requires maybe valuation. And valuation uses different valuation methods. So